Congratulations, Executor. Your success has brought us the promise of hope against the Zerg. However, we face a new threat within our own ranks. In your absence, Judicator Alderis and an entire legion of Kali survivors from Ayr have begun an open revolt against us. By the gods, this is ill news indeed. Why would Alderis betray us so? He and his ilk believe that it was wrong to have abandoned Ayr and consorted with our people. Their prejudices have driven them to perpetuate the Conclave's sins against us. Even now, Alderis and his loyalist Templar forces are preparing to attack our citadel. I can scarcely believe this. As if the Zerg were not enough. Matriarch, are you certain of this? All too certain, young Templar. Executor, as Matriarch of the Dark Templar and custodian of this world, I hereby order you to terminate Judicator Alderis and quell this untimely uprising without delay. There will be no dissent among us while the Zerg are poised to strike. There's something amiss here. The Matriarch has always been a wise and gentle soul. Though there is some merit in her decision, this is very unlike her. That may well be. But right now, we have a friend to kill. May I don't forgive us. Yeah! Alderis is gonna die. Alright. Be advised, Executor. Our forces are divided. Alderis has taken control of our Templar warriors and arbiters. It is possible that he may even send Archons against us. Fear not, comrades, for we have Archons of our own. Should the dire need arise, all Dark Templar may merge to become Dark Archons. Though we sacrifice our warriors in doing so, only the might of the Dark Archons can match the forces of Aldaris. Not time. Commencing. Yep, so uh, now we get Dark Archons, which means now we get Mind Control, yeah! So that's why I made them all into Dark Archons. Let's go mass Dark Archons. Just for fun. We can take out carriers and on our own. Or we can get a Kakaroo. No, we'll get- we'll get- we'll Mind Control Kakaroos later, but um... For now, I'm actually gonna go mass up a lot of gas and uh... I- yeah, I, I do feel like I should get like a lot of uh... Dark Templars for fun. Just because we have them now. Sorry, Dark Archons, not Dark Templars. So yeah, we don't get Templars anymore for this for this mission. I think we get... Uh, we don't get Arbiters, but we get Carriers starting now. Which is kind of interesting, so... Uh, that's pretty much how this mission is going to go. And also, I have another story to tell! Fuck yeah! You know, I guess while we're just like messing around with this stuff, I, I can tell another story. And this is going to be about a... I, I have talked before about how I've done like... Uh, Websites like um, the two websites I've been I've created are uh, StarEdit.net and, and uh, Maplantis.org. Uh, Maplantis.org is just owned by some domain. I, I let the domain expire. It's, it's not that doesn't exist at all. Uh, and StarEdit.net exists under someone else. So it's someone else's uh, work right now that you see up there. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Which one had it? Micro! There we go. So now we get to take over the Archons. That's kinda nice. Unfortunately, uh, we takes away all their shields whenever you uh, use the uh, ability that they have for uh, mind controlling. Okay, I should really have like the guy who's actually ready to fucking mind control like right here. Cause like, damn. So yeah, that's, that's the cost is like, cause Dark Templars are like what? Like this is like 200... 250 minerals and 200 gas, and there's like the research involved, and then like more fucking whatever. But you know, once you get there, you get there. Then you have them. All right. Um, I think we should get uh, some more stargate. Uh, well, not stargates. Warp gates. And uh, we can either go for a ground assault or something else. Uh. I don't know if I should make a Stargate. I think I want to get at least a Robotics. 
kind of want to scout the map, though. Unfortunately, no one's up here to to defend over here. Uh, but anyways, yes, I'm going to tell another story about uh, my website stuff. And so it's mostly the story of uh, Maplantis.org, because Stardust.net actually existed as... Um, I made the site about like six years or so after StarCraft came out, and it was... Um, I really liked the mapping in, in the game StarCraft, obviously. And uh, I really liked the map editor, so I, I wanted to make a site specifically focused on... on uh, it started as uh, use map settings map making, and eventually um, expanded to modding. Uh, it was never a big site for Malay. Uh, maps like Malay is uh, the standard like you start with a building and four probes or whatever that's the competitive play We were never big on that um, And we, we probably sucked at it more than anything because it's uh, it's like no, no one knew about the game balance or anything back then uh, Well in our on our website, so uh, we didn't really bother with that What we did do however was we made some kick-ass uh, use map things maps and uh, I remember uh one of the guys I used to hang out with was, uh, uh, well, he was on our website, but, uh, it was, um, a, his name was Bolthead. He made a lot of good maps. You might, you might know him. Uh, I knew, uh, Kryptonite, I had talked to him to a couple of times, uh, like some of the bigger names in mapping, actually. It was actually a lot of fun. Ah. <laughs> Just gonna keep taking over these guys. It's so much fun. Oh god, no! Run away! Come on! Take him over! There we go. We're just slowly bringing them into our forces. So I knew I knew some of the big maps in, in, in mapping. It was, it was actually really fucking awesome. I, I, I really did enjoy that. Um, I knew the guy who made uh, Scum Draft, which is... Uh, oh shit, I, I now tra made a place to trap all my guys. Whatever, fine. Get rid of that. Um, Scum Draft was a, uh, a Star Forge and Scum Draft were two third-party editors that didn't actually use the StarCraft campaign editor. editor. Usually they were, usually when people did stuff to the editor, uh, they modded it basically and they changed some of the files around to, to like, enable placement of any units for any race kind of thing and all that kind of stuff. So I, I knew all those people. It was really cool, actually, uh, to know a lot of, like, famous people. Um, but with regards to that, um... I, uh, uh, what's we call it? So, the, so yeah, I, I know a lot of big names in, in the use map settings, um, community and whatever. But I eventually had, like, family issues, so I had to actually stop developing that site. And I, and then later on, I kind of, like, I kind of got sad because I'm like, oh, I miss, I, make, I miss making websites. And I thought, I also kind of had my ch opinion changed by open source because I realized that a lot of, um, a lot of the best maps on, on StarCraft 1 at least, the most popular and the best, they were always... They were always there because um, they, were, they were changed like many many times. And one of the one of the biggest one of the biggest, biggest things we advocated for was uh, map protection, which is like you prevent the map from opening in the editor by corrupting certain things that StarCraft doesn't open, but the Star Edit does. So it can't open the map then. Um, and so I, we used to advocate for that, but then I I changed my mind kind of after that. By the way, I think this is the real. Oh yeah, this is the this is the real one. The other ones are fake. So let's, let's actually start moving up. Uh, and so that's what we used to do. We used to advocate for that stuff. And, uh, and you know, I kind of regretted my decision on that because I thought I could make, like, a big difference in the mentality of that. Which I kind of did with some people, but other people obviously kind of resisted the, the change. But uh, we did some really fucking cool stuff because um, the, other, the other big names I kind of knew were... Um, there was a guy named Legacy, Wec uh, Le Legacy Weapon and a guy named Minarchon and... Uh, what they did were, um, they created a, uh, they created a, uh, an open source deprotection program, which basically removed the protection schemes that, uh, that maps implemented. And it was actually really cool. Um, uh, people hated it. Oh god, they did. But I, I wanted to actually create a community around, um, using, using these unprotectors, basically. Sort of. And allowing anybody to learn from maps and open them and stuff like that. And, and it really did work. Oh god. Uh, we're gonna die here. I should have left some Dark Archons down there. Everyone come down here. Oh wow, we killed that guy. Oh, these guys are both gonna die. Fuck these guys. 
never mind. And so, yeah, I knew the guys who did the deep unprotection program, so, you know, judging based upon your history of uh, StarCraft, you may hate me or love me for that, who knows. But anyways, um, so I knew those guys too, and that was that was really good. But what we did was we made this really cool thing. Like one of the things I really wanted to do was uh, whenever we had people upload maps to our maps database, like basically we store we stored maps in a little downloads thing, and I always used basically some shitty scripts or something. Like I wasn't very uh, I wasn't very good at programming back then. Uh, but later on, I I got better at it, and uh, I wanted to do something cool with that. And what we did was using his little unprotection program. His 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 program was also capable of uh, of uh, taking statistics from maps and things like that, like the, what the map name is, uh, like stripping out like uh, what players are there, what forces. So he knew a lot about the the StarCraft map format, and I had the website basically, and I knew a little bit about like uh, uh, parsing data and, and all that kind of shit, like uh, actually taking in. All that, all that data, and, and making it useful, basically. And so what I did, my my whole thing was I, uh, uh, I t I made a maps database that basically, whenever you uploaded a map, it would, because you know, whenever you depend upon actual users to do things like uh, parse out names and things like that, people technically people tend not to actually, people tend not to be honest with that either. That's the problem. Like, they, they kind of go and they go, like, I'm just gonna put uh, Dick's butt, and that's hilarious kind of thing as the BAP stamp. So I wanted to actually, like, I really like systems that that are very good about auto-detecting uh, what what the maps, na uh, what names are basically, like uh, player names and shit like that inside, uh, inside the editor. How are we supposed to get over to that fucking island anyways? Sorry, one second. Where are my observers? Get over here. We gotta go past this one. Cause we'll, you know what, we'll, we'll do, we'll do a fake one on purpose, why not? Fortunately I lost most of my guys, so let's just get, head down here. Prepare to move out. Um, so yeah, so we made a little, we, we made a, we made a little bit of a parsing thing, so whenever, whenever you uploaded a map to my, uh, to my maps database, it would automatically grab like all the information of your map and basically it was searchable and so I was really good at the indexing stuff and just kind of like making it so it's like okay it's all searchable and all that and so and then we also generated mini maps of it as well so whenever you uploaded a map the only thing we ever required from you is like um, uh, at the first thing it asked you was are you the creator of this well, for, well okay sorry it first uploaded the map if I recall correctly it first uploaded the map if it first upload the map and then and then afterwards it would ask you if the name looked correct and you could change like I think some of the, the the things around like the name and whatever oh god oh god this is terrifying and it also asked you if you create the map because uh, back then it was actually more than possible for us to do some really questionable things that people would have absolutely fucking hated I, like um because we were basically, uh, we basically kind of made a fork of the, the open source editing program, uh, it was also possible for us to actually upload the unprotected version of that map. And, uh, like, like, and so, like, whenever you upload a map, it's automatically unprotected. And we actually played with that idea and considered it, but uh, we decided not to because we thought that uh, people would have a literal hissy fit because it's like, well, I uploaded it as protected, and now it's unprotected, so... The one thing we did ask was though, if if it was the, if it was your map, then you had the option of telling people that you were allowed to edit it, which is kind of like kind of goes under the spirit of, of open source in the way of uh, I guess like licenses like GPL or whatever, which is like you know you can tell people is you're free you're you're free to edit the source basically, and so that's kind of what we did. We provided the tools. We didn't actually openly tell anybody that okay you're free to uh, to do whatever the fuck you want with these maps. Even though technically that was full, fully within like anybody's rights, like nobody owns StarCraft maps, that's the thing. They're owned by Blizzard, um, as per the EULA or whatever. Uh, so it was always kind of a gray area. Uh, but I, I like, and so as I said, we, we did it because we didn't want to have any community drama. And I also called myself Tao back then because I wanted to, 
uh, once again, the, the idea was we knew that there would be a lot of community drama surrounding it. Because everybody fu fucking loves that, is internet drama. And, uh... And yeah, it, uh, long story short, it didn't really prevent any community drama. There's still a huge hissy fit between uh, two sites I created, actually. <laughs> uh, but it, it was good times. It, I, you know, I don't regret that at all. Any any of my uh, any, any of the time I spent on that shit on that shit because that was that was good that was good times. I'm trying to find the there's a bridge over here. Oh, damn it. Okay. Well, uh, I think we're just gonna now just kind of move up. Because uh, I think that's the bridge right here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. So let's let's get everyone over here. We're just gonna move everyone up. Even though they have hor absolutely terrible pathing. Because I don't actually see a way to get up here. And if I go here, I'm probably gonna get shot by one of these photon cannons. Yeah, look at this. Well, it's a good thing I scattered the map. I'm sort of, uh, I'm not really playing this blind, but I play this like, uh... God damn it. Fuck! They have Reavers! Uh, there you go. This guy's probably gonna die, but... Get, wait, no, no. Get in there, you asshole. Okay. Ah, I win. No! There you go. Okay. Sweet. My totally sweet micro. Okay, and we're gonna get this guy. <laughs> okay, now well, let's get everybody actually in here. That fucking. I can't micro this shit back at all. There you go. Let's get that fucking. Oh god, no, not more of these guys. Kill him, kill him! Kill him. Ah! Oh god, you have no fucking things! Okay, this is spread about so they don't- they can't kill us all! There we go. Okay. Oh, well, you're a little too late there, buddy, but that's okay. For fuck's sake. Okay, which guy has a lot of e energy? This guy does. Okay. I'm gonna need more dragoons. I'm gonna make a lot more. Okay, let's just kind of make everyone come over here and just have a good time. Uh, yeah. So we're having we're having a bad time right now. But anyways, yeah, that's that's my experiences. So it was a really cool uh, map parser because it just, as I said, it took out. It took out all the fun stuff out of out of the maps, and so I did all the hard work basically. Oh god, it killed my dark archon. Okay, one day I'll be able to get past all these guys. I just need to get more dragons. So yeah, that's that's a fun little story that I figured I'd tell you guys about. If you don't care, then I'm sorry. There you go. We just keep taking him over. I'm having fun with this. For fuck's sake, they keep spawning more of them. The hardest part is honestly finding fucking one with energy. Dude, everyone come up here. No, I don't care anymore. Um, it requires a fair bit, of, fair bit too much effort on my part to, to do this. There you go. Okay. Now we got this. Let's get everyone over there. I think I should save it so we don't fuck up. It's Starcraft is a hard game. Uh, Alright. So apparently, actually, something that someone was telling me is I should really get the Dragoon upgrades. And we'll get this guy on our team. Yeah. How lazy I am. The hardest part is the fact that they have all these photon cannons. And we go. More of them on our team. I just want to get rid of these robotic space because they're the, like my worst enemy. 
and they constantly have these these stupid ass things. Oh, we could actually kill one of these fake ones. Go, kill that one. There you go. I like how they just have like a, a guy right there. Oh god. Oh god. Carrier! Yeah! You get a carrier now. Okay, everyone come up here. We're gonna lose like a whole bunch. I can't really afford to lose that many. Okay, carrier, can you please not die? Thanks. Thanks, bro. This requires actually a lot of concentration on my part, believe it or not. But, uh, we're gonna get a fake one, as I said. You didn't think I'd be caught so easily, did you, Executor? You have only destroyed a phantom. <gasps> Plot twist. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. This is the most depressed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Run away! Oh god, no! Fuck it, I hate those things. Alright, let's just go take out these things. Okay, all Dark Templars. Oh, they- oh, look at them! Oh, they have another one. Eh, that one's ours too. We need another one. Oh, I fucking- he has one enter- fuck one shield. This game is mean to me. Okay, well now we have a shit ton of Dragoon, so we could probably- probably more than capable of taking out this entire mission now. Except, uh, Dragoons are just absolute idiots when crossing bridges like this. Never- never ask a Dragoon to cross a bridge for you. They just- they simply will not know what to do. Alright. Are you- it's also fun? We can- we can- we can mind control Alderis, I think. I don't know why I didn't try and do that lot like that, that last time. But we'll do that now. And I think they're destroying me. Oh god, this one guy. It's a hero zealot. So I'm not paying attention in the slightest. That's okay, though. Oh, fuck off, Arbiter. Okay, good. He fucked off. I like it when Arbiters listen to me. Okay. So here's the plan. We're gonna go mind control us some Alduris. And then we're gonna win. For some reason, because that doesn't really make sense. We, we need to make it all the way down there, though. I, I don't understand what's wrong with all of their pathing. I guess it just everything is taken up. Who the hell's shooting us? Where's the where's the observer I had? Oh god damn it. Damn it, get back here. Okay, let's just move back for a sec. Something over there is shooting us, and I really hate it. I don't know anymore, actually, to be on it. To be perfect. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's get that guy. He's ours now. Okay. And there's another carrier. <laughs> He's ours, too. Don't you love, like, fucking Protoss are like the dick race now. I love Dark Archons. And see, I didn't even have to build any carriers. The game, the AI built them for me. Unfortunately, I'm probably gonna lose. Okay, and now we got Archons. Okay, let's see, can we make it in... We have to get, like, behind that mineral line, I think. I don't know, can, can we get, like, a good... You can mind control heroes in this game, that's why I love it. Let's see if I can just make it in there and mind control them. Nope. Let me get a shuttle, fuck it. I, I, I'm now committed to this, I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to see what happens. Well, I think I know what happens at this point, you know. It, it's, it's the same as killing him, it's going to be so anticlimactic. Oh, uh, look, there's another fucking carrier. Oh, it's mine now. Thanks. 
Unfortunately, I don't think I have anyone with full energy anymore. Oh no, I got one. That's how intense this is right now. Is this is this gonna be done soon? Okay, it is. Okay, let's just plot a path. I made him use a waypoint. But uh, yeah. So I don't make any StarCraft Net websites anymore, obviously. But you know, I have a huge history around them, and I love it. It was a lot of fun. Right now, for StarCraft 2, uh, the biggest site is uh, SCU 2 Mapster. The, the guy, I know the guy who runs that, I and mean, he's a he's a pretty cool guy. So if you're into StarCraft 2 mapping, definitely check out uh, SCU 2 Mapster, uh, Curse Network, and all that. Those guys are pretty neat. They know what they're doing. They're fun people. And let's just, just get rid of that High Templar before it causes me any issues. And the shuttle made it up here. Alright. You know, maybe I should have just mind controlled the shuttle. It just occurred to me I could have done that. I'm not I'm not thinking outside the box here, but that's okay. We're we're basically there. Get on the ground, Eldaris. Ha ha ha, he's us. That's what happens. <laughs> it is finished, Judicator. Surrender your remaining forces and join us in eradicating the Zerg. I would sooner die, Dark One, than tarnish the memory of Ayer by joining with you. Your fate was sealed the moment your matriarch allied herself with the Queen of Blades. Those of us still loyal to Ayer will never be slaves to Kerrigan and her broods. Alderis, be reasonable. Kerrigan has changed. She no longer seeks to enslave anyone. Do not force us to destroy you. You can no longer afford to be so naive, Artanis. While you were securing the crystals, I discovered that your matriarch has been harboring a dark secret. She has been manipulated by I have no time for this. Kerrigan, what have you done? I just think that your mess, Protoss. Don't be so squeamish. Wretched creature. This was a Protoss matter. You had no right to interfere. Be gone from this world. You are no longer welcome among us. Fine. I've done what I came here to do. I've ensured the destruction of the renegade Cerebrates, and I used you to do it. Have fun, mighty Protoss. We'll be seeing each other again real soon. Well, I guess that's it for this, and I'll be seeing you next time, so there you go. See you later. Bye.